girlfriend of seven years left me for a guy she met only three weeks ago. Background I am a 26-year-old engineer with a stable career. She is a 25-year-old nurse. We started dating in college and we were together for almost seven years. This was my first relationship and her first serious relationship. We had been living together for three years at this point. We recently moved back to our home state after moving out of state together for a job opportunity I received after graduating. Upon moving back, she was still applying for permanent positions and took a temporary summer job at a children's summer camp she used to attend growing up and work at in college. I have been to this camp before to visit her in the past and I have met the staff. The camp is a four-hour drive from our new home. We have been having relationship issues for a couple years now. Small arguments here and there but the biggest issue for me was the lack of intimacy. Once every two to three weeks is not frequent enough for a 25-year-old couple in my opinion. She has very low self-esteem and would repeatedly state that she never felt attractive and never was in the mood. I would always be the one to initiate intimacy and I would always do all the work. She was very selfish and would refuse to reciprocate intimacy acts. I don't have to go into details but I spoiled her rotten intimacy wise. She accused me of not being attracted to her because I would always nag her to come to the gym with me and make healthier food choices. We both had gained a lot of weight in college and I was taking steps to get back in shape. She would always comment on how she didn't like the way she looked and how none of her clothes fit right. I would remind her that I love her but that I would help her and support her since she wanted to lose the weight. I also wanted her to lose the weight of course but she took that as me wanting her to change and not loving her unconditionally. I feel as though I was a great boyfriend to her and treated her very well during the course of our relationship. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. We got into arguments. I would yell and get upset with her but I would always apologize and admit when I was wrong. I was always the partner who wanted to sit down and discuss our issues. She was just very immature and never wanted to admit her own part in our issues or put effort into changing them. One argument we had made her so upset that she went and stayed at a friend's house that night, instead of talking through the issue with me. I treated her very well. I would bring her food and coffee during her long hospital shifts. I would surprise her and cook dinner for her and have wine waiting for her after she comes home from a long shift. I surprised her with a trip to Vegas one year. Took her to a magic show, zip lining, steak dinner, nice hotel, I even chartered a private helicopter to fly us over the strip. I baked heart-shaped mozzarella sticks for her and put it in a heart-shaped box and wrote, from your cheesy boyfriend on it. I took her to an elephant sanctuary for her birthday one year, she loves elephants. I created a scavenger hunt for her on our college campus one year just for fun. I hid notes with riddles on them around campus that would lead to the next riddle and finally a bouquet of flowers at the end. I would bring flowers to the restaurant ahead of time on Valentine's Day and tip the waiter extra to bring them out for her. I took her to a gourmet chocolate making class one anniversary. I made her a message in a bottle and took a piece of paper and burned the edges, and soaked it in coffee to make it look old. I wrote on it. Together we can weather any storm or any wave no matter how high. I hid it in the sand near this lake and had her find it. I took her snowmobiling in Tahoe one year for her birthday. The list goes on. I made these gestures for her because I love her and wanted to surprise her and show her how much she means to me. She would make social media posts about how much she loves me and how she wants to spend her life with me and can't image being without me and how fortunate she is to have someone like me love her and treat her the way I do. She had been wanting to get married since we were in college. She has always wanted her dream wedding since she was a little girl and had been planning it for years. She had set a budget of $30,000 for the wedding and the ring she wanted was very expensive. I told her I would compromise on the ring but that we needed to be financially responsible and buy a house before committing that much money into a wedding. She would always send me pictures of rings and decorations and venues and we were serious about a life together. We had our kids' names picked out and even started house shopping together after relocating. Her biggest goal in life was to be a mother and start a family. Prior to her starting work at the summer camp, she sent me a post about buying your wife mimosas on the weekends. I joked that she wasn't my wife yet and she responded. Well then, let's change that. She wanted to get married to me and had no plans to leave me before going off to camp. 
I had already been ring shopping with her two closest friends and had the proposal planned out. I was going to take her up in a hot air balloon and do a champagne toast mid-flight and propose. I even had a speech written. I just never pulled the trigger on the ring because I wanted to fix the intimacy issues before committing to marriage. The Incident After relocating back to our home state she went off to work at the summer camp. The camp was two sessions. Four weeks, then three weeks. I went to visit her during the four-week period and spent the day-night with her at camp. I met all the new staff and I brought her flowers and cookie dough to apologize for putting up such a fight about visiting her. I was dreading making the four-hour drive there and back the next day. I know I was wrong to put up a fight about visiting and I admit that I was wrong in this regard. My birthday fell between the two camp sessions and she came home to spend the weekend with me and my family to celebrate. When she got home, she told me that she was unhappy. She had been talking with some of the older female camp staff about our relationship. She mentioned that we fight too much and along with our lack of intimacy, she said we had too many issues. Unfortunately we didn't have much time to discuss the specifics that were making her unhappy. We had birthday plans for dinner and plans with my family the rest of the weekend. I really wish we would have sat down and talked through the issues before this had happened. After my birthday weekend, she went back to camp for the last three week sessions. That is when I stopped getting texts back from her and she wouldn't take my calls often. She stopped saying I love you, which was a huge alarm for me as we would always say that back to each other often. When she finally did pick up the phone, she just told me that she was unhappy and that I should not propose to her. I desperately wanted to talk to her about it but she said she didn't want to have this conversation over the phone. I freaked out and went and bought a temporary ring to show her I was committed to her and that I had already planned on proposing. I brought flowers and drove up to camp on that Sunday afternoon. When I got there she was extremely angry with me. She told me it was disrespectful to show up there unannounced and that I was trespassing. I had been to the camp multiple times before to visit and there was no reason I wasn't allowed to be there. I told her I loved her and wanted the life together that we had planned. I tried to give her the flowers and she wouldn't accept them. I asked why she was unhappy and why she wouldn't accept the flowers. All she said was that she had feelings for someone else. This shocked me. We had been discussing marriage for years and I couldn't imagine her being open to wanting another person. I asked who it was because I had met all the adult male camp staff and had no idea who it could have been. She refused to tell me. I asked if we could speak in her room privately and she said. I am just warning you. There are flowers in there from him. This hurt so badly. I told her she can't accept flowers from another man. That we are in a relationship and that is so wrong. All she did was nod. I asked if she had cheated on me and she said no. I never had any reason to not trust her before so I believed her. At this point I was crying hysterically and talking in circles. I tried to give her the ring and tell her I had planned a proposal and she wouldn't accept it. I told her she was my whole world and that I was willing to make changes and work through any issue that was making her unhappy. She just acted so cold and wouldn't even talk to me about why she was unhappy. I told her it was late and that I had planned on staying the night and talking this through with her. She told me that I am not staying and that I needed to leave. I told her I really didn't want to leave until we had time to discuss the situation. She started to get very angry and threatened to call security on me if I didn't leave immediately. I couldn't believe this girl, who I loved more than anything, who was my partner, who I was going to marry, was going to call security on me. I begged her to talk things through with me and then she went to pick up the radio to call security. At this point I had to leave. I asked if we could speak when she came home from camp that Friday. She told me we could talk but that we are not together anymore. This broke me. After almost seven years together and all the love and memories and plans for the future, she just ended it like this. With me in tears, begging to work on things, she threatened to have me escorted off the campsite and then broke up with me right then and there. On my four-hour drive home at night, I texted her begging her to reconsider, and telling her how much I loved her and wanted to make things right. She replied telling me that I needed to stop contacting her. I took the next day off work because I was an emotional mess. I had to know who this person was, and how she could throw away almost seven years and the future we had planned, over someone she had met only a few weeks prior. I invaded her privacy for the first time in our entire relationship and I logged onto her Facebook account. I saw these horrible messages between her and this guy. 
she had been cheating on me for weeks. I had met this guy. I shook his hand. She introduced me as her boyfriend. This person knew we were in a committed relationship and he still pursued my girlfriend. He is a horrible person. He is a homewrecker. I was going to marry this girl. I don't like to poke fun at people who are down on their luck or having a hard time in life. But this guy is the definition of a loser. He has poor hygiene, a gross ungroomed beard, and dresses horribly. He is much older than us, in his thirties. He has no education, just a high school diploma, no career, no nothing. He is a camp counselor during the summer and the camp wilderness expert. He can't provide for her. He can't support her let alone the family she wants. He can't provide the nice house she wanted, the nice vacations and trips we wanted to take, the expensive wedding slash ring, sending our kids to private schools like she wanted. She likes the outdoors and camping and that's the only reason I see her being attracted to this person. She felt lonely and neglected because of lack of intimacy in our relationship, and she claimed that I played too many video games and prioritized my friends over her. I always invited her to spend time with me and my friends but she would refuse saying she doesn't want to sit there bored watching us play games. This guy showed her attention while she was away at camp. He bought her flowers and wine and chocolate. They were in this romantic environment away from society, sleeping under the stars each night. No real world problems or stresses. She just totally neglected her commitment to me and our relationship and fell for him. She started an entire emotional and possibly physical affair. It hurt me so badly. He wrote her love letters. She told him her bed smelled like him and he replied that he had sprayed cologne on it. She told him how amazing she thought he was and how she could smell her bed all day. He said he wished he would have kissed her the other night when they went camping together. That it was so hard to hold back their desires for each other. She told him it really wouldn't take much. He said he would blush but all the blood was rushing somewhere else. She would send kissy faces and winky faces to him. It was sickening to rid. Even to type this it makes me feel ill. They went to a theme park together and posted pictures together on social media. She messaged him. My mom thinks we should take these pictures down. I don't want my boyfriend looking into it or getting any ideas. I don't want to hurt anyone. Her mom was like a second mother to me. Even she knew about the cheating. He quoted closing time lyrics to her, that every new beginning comes from another beginning's end. When I had left camp that night, he messaged her that he heard she handled me well. She replied. Yeah. He was freaking psychotic. I wasn't psychotic. I was hysterically crying and begging the love of my life not to throw away everything we have built and dreamed about. I was not acting aggressive at all and I would never hurt her. She came home that Friday to gather her clothes and belongings and move out. I confronted her about the messages I found. She told me that she didn't think what she did was cheating. She said. I guess our definitions of cheating are just different. I showed her best friends the messages and they agreed that she cheated and couldn't believe she could do this to me. I begged her to stay and once again told her I loved her and wanted to work through our issues together. I just wanted to know why she was unhappy and what I could do to make changes. I told her I found a cheap flight to Barcelona, and that we should just be spontaneous and go and just rekindle our relationship on the way. She told me she had made up her mind and that I wasn't respecting her decision. She said she loves but isn't in love with me. She said she sees a future with this person and that he treats her the way she wants to be treated. I said. How can you see a future with someone you met three weeks ago? You don't even know this person. That doesn't make any sense. She told me that she made a, mistake. I told her a mistake is an isolated occurrence and something you do on accident. I told her that she didn't make a mistake. It was a conscious decision she made to cheat on me and she had been doing it for weeks. She is just extremely immature and spoiled. My friends and family always told me that but I just ignored the red flags because I was so in love with her and attached to her. Back in college, I took her out to Cheesecake Factory to celebrate her getting into nursing school. We had a nice dinner and on the way out I noticed she was very upset. I asked why, and she told me she was disappointed that I didn't put more effort in and tell the waitress we were celebrating a special occasion, so she would have put a candle in the cheesecake. It was the most ungrateful thing I have heard from her and that was our first big fight. That happened about two years into our relationship. I remember kissing her at home about a year ago and she told me she didn't feel butterflies anymore. I just think that is ridiculous. 
you're not going to feel butterflies every kiss after the honeymoon stage ends. Especially seven years into a relationship. When I surprise her and woo her like I did, that's when she should feel butterflies. I believe she lacks the maturity to understand what she had with me and to be grateful for it. She threw away someone who truly loves her and would never lie to or cheat on her. I wrote her a letter a few weeks ago which was about a month after she moved out. I titled the letter, Commitment. I reminded her of all the love and memories we shared. I talked about our dreams that we wanted and all of the trips we would never get to take, and children we would never get to have. I told her to scroll back through her social media and read all the posts she wrote, and notes she wrote to me about how much she loves me and wants to spend her life with me and can't imagine her life without me. I told her to remember how badly she wanted to marry me and how often she would send me pictures of rings. I said that if she truly had wanted to marry me, then she would have been willing to take the wedding vows. One of those vows is to stick together through thick and thin. Our relationship had been in a rough patch for a while now. It was thin, and we needed to sit down like adults and work through our issues. Instead, I told her she chose to just jump ship. I told her she abandoned me in her commitment to our relationship. I said she didn't need to have a ring on her finger or a marriage certificate to have a commitment to me. All these years together and all these talks about the future I felt was a commitment in itself. I asked her once again that if she had truly ever loved me, and if she was truly the women I met all those years ago, and the same women who wrote all those love letters to me, and made all those posts about how she can't imagine a future with me, then she would come back to me and work through our issues together. Her response was so hurtful. She said she was sorry that I was hurting so badly. She said that she knows we had good times but that she also remembers all the bad times. She said she was always waiting for the good times to turn to bad times in tears. She said she misses my friendship but not our romantic relationship. She said we fought too much and wasn't happy. She said she has moved on and found her happiness in life. She told me that even though it hurts me she wants me to know she's happy now. She asked me to stop sending her letters and reaching out to her. She told me to move on. She blocked my phone number and that's the last contact I had with her. If she was unhappy she should have respected and loved me enough to sit down and talk to me. If she was truly that unhappy and didn't want to work on the relationship, then at least do me the courtesy of telling me to my face and break up with me. She didn't have to cheat on me. She didn't have to absolutely destroy me. I feel like she is leaving in a fairy tale with this camp wilderness guy. She moved into her own apartment and is now seeing this guy. Again, he can't provide for her and I really hope she doesn't end up with him. I care for her so deeply and love her more than anything in this world. I want her to have a happy life. I just wish it could have been with me. My friends and family always told me she took me for granted. No matter how much I did for her, how much I tried to communicate with her and make compromises to make her happy, she would just never be satisfied. My mother and sister told me she is selfish and immature and doesn't deserve me but that doesn't stop me from loving her. I hope one day she realizes that she made a huge mistake. She would have had a great life with me and I would have provided everything she wanted in life. Now I don't know if I will ever hear from her again. I miss her terribly. I miss kissing her goodnight. I miss cuddling with her. I miss waking up next to her. I miss going to dinner with her and trying new restaurants. I miss talking to her and sharing exciting news with her. I miss our date nights and going on trips with her. My heart hurts constantly. She wasn't just my partner. She was my best friend. I go back and forth between crying and missing her, to being angry and hating her for cheating on me. I have that image burned into my mind of them together at the theme park, and them sleeping together camping out. I'm still in disbelief that she could do this to me after all these years and after all the plans for the future we made together. I keep thinking that the girl I knew could never do this to me. Before we started dating, she was being used by all these guys in college. When we started dating, she told me how she got cheated on in high school by a guy she went to this very camp with. She told me it hurt so badly and that it was her worst nightmare. She made me promise that I would never cheat on her. I told her that I am not that kind of person and that I could never do that to her, that the guilt would eat me alive. I just find it ironic that after almost seven years together she could turn around and do this to me the very thing she was most afraid I would do to her. And for her to lie about it, hide it, and then deny that it was cheating. It kills me. I know my story isn't as bad as some others out there. 
I have read about way worse situations. Lucky you didn't buy the ring, be glad you didn't marry her or buy the house or have kids yet, people say. It still hurts. It still feels like the end of the world for me. People tell me that I'm only 26 and that it was my first relationship and that I am still young and I will find someone. I hope I find someone else. But I am afraid I won't find someone whom I will love as deeply or as passionately as my ex. She was my entire world. I lost tons of sleep and almost 20 pounds over this. I have frequent panic attacks and find myself crying at home and in public. I try to keep busy, try new things, new hobbies, and meet new people. I have been making better food choices and go to the gym often. I know I sound biased and that you are only reading my side of the story. I know I made mistakes in the relationship and I own those and have apologized for them. I know grand gestures are not all there is to love, and of course, I was there for her emotionally and tried to communicate with her. I have read the famous, The Five Love Languages book, link in the description, but unfortunately only after the breakup. I love her. I miss her. I hope she reaches out to me one day when she realizes how big of a mistake she has made. I just figured I could post here for some support. Thank you for taking the time to listen.